Good morning, it's uh, Saturday the 6th of March and our reading today is Mark 6, 7 to 29. Then Jesus went around teaching from village to village. Calling the twelve to him, he began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over impure spirits. These were his instructions. Take nothing for the journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in your belts. Wear sandals, but not an extra shirt. Whenever you enter a house, stay there until you leave that town. And if any place will not welcome you or listen to you, leave that place and shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. They went out and preached that pe people should repent. They drove out many demons and anointed many sick people with oil and healed them. King Herod heard about this, for Jesus' name had become well known. Some were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead, and that's why miraculous powers are at work in him. Others said, he's Elijah. Still others claimed, he is a prophet, like one of the prophets of long ago. But when Herod heard this, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised from the dead. For Herod himself had given orders to have John arrested, and he had him bound and put in prison. He did this because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, whom he had married. For John had been saying to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. So Herodias nursed a grudge against John, and wanted to kill him, but she was not able to, because Herod feared John and protected him, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man. When Herod heard John, he was greatly puzzled, yet he liked to listen to him. Finally, the opportune time came. On his birthday, Herod gave a banquet for his high officials and military commanders and the leading men of Galilee. When the daughter of Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his dinner guests. The king said to the girl, ask me for anything you want and I'll give it to you. And he promised her with an oath, whatever you ask, I will give it you up to half my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, what shall I ask for? The head of John the Baptist, she answered. At once the girl hurried to the king with the request, I want you to give me right now the head of John the Baptist on a platter. The king was greatly distressed, but because of his oaths and his dinner guests, he did not want to refuse her. So he immediately sent an executioner with orders to bring him John's head. The man went, beheaded John in the prison and brought back his head on the platter. He presented it to the girl and she gave it to her mother. On hearing this, John's disciples came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. This part of Mark's Gospel is all about rejection. Jesus is rejected by his hometown, then John the Baptist is rejected and put to death. But sandwiched between these stories of rejection, Jesus sends out the disciples to preach the Gospel. He warns them that they too will be rejected and that they too should be prepared for it. It's never easy to face rejection. It's discouraging, it's painful and it's personal. It's easy for us to interpret it as somehow our fault, our failing. Mark reminds us that even John the Baptist and Jesus himself faced rejection, but that ultimately they prevailed. Let's pray. Lord, give us the courage to share your word to a dying world in these uncertain times. Help us to be brave, to face even rejection for your sake. Amen.